Okay, so if you've seen my other method with the um, with my um, with my premix method, um, you may have seen it a little fast. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing example solve. So hopefully, it'll clarify. Most of the time, I'll be using this method, um, and hopefully, that'll clarify how this method works. Um, I'm going to try to go. This might be relatively fast. I don't know, um, but I'll try to explain as much as I can in this video. And hopefully the scrambles that I get here, uh, I'll post it, and hopefully they'll be correct, because I've heard some people have problems with QQ timer, but we'll see. Uh, for all these scrambles, I'm going to scramble with green on front, yellow on bottom. And this is my color scheme. I have orange on the left and blue on the right. So if I, I think the black shang shop here makes us sometimes have these mixed up. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to follow. All right. So And I'm not going to do any of the tips. I'm not going to scramble any of the tips. So this one, immediately I see that there's a um, solved edge here, so I'm probably going to start here. Uh, what I also notice is that there is a um, there's a edge here that can be inserted with three moves. And what I would do for this case is actually um, insert like this. Okay. The reason being, I know that an insertion like that never never messes up the center orientation. So it's very easy to predict what kind of a case I'm gonna get. So in this case, I know I see a three flip right here, orange, orange, orange. Um, so I know that after those three moves, I'm gonna end up with that case. Also, I noticed that this edge here, when I insert it this way, like for example, I decided to not to do it that way and to do it this way, because that way it, I'm gonna get this edge in here flipped, which is a very good case for a three flip case. So it, overall, it looks like this. And then this is a three flip case. And last three I just skip. Alright. Okay. For this one, what I notice is I see this edge is solved and all three centers are already solved as well. So this should be relatively easy. Um, yes. So what I would do is one move here to solve this edge, which makes it a one flip case with this edge in the back, like that. Okay. And I'll try to do as many of these as I can, so hopefully it'll fit in a lot. In this scramble, I see another salt edge. They're, they're, it's not that uncommon, and that's what's nice. Um, let's see. So this one is just two moves to skip a block. I see that this edge goes here, and what happens is it's a one flip case. And I'm seeing all of this during inspection, so I noted that as soon as I solve that, this edge is going to end up here, and it's going to be oriented with respect to this um, this center here. So I'll show you what that means. As soon as I solve this center and that, yeah, as soon as I solve the center and that edge, this edge ends up here, which is a nice case for this one flip case. It just looks like that. Okay, again, solved edge. It's great. Um, this is. This looks pretty easy. Um, let me think. Uh, there's a flipped edge, so I can do a one flip case. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, one, one flip. Use a one flip method, I guess. Is I, I put this edge in here, and what happens is I get a chameleon case with a flipped edge. Let me see if there's any better way to do it. Um, yeah, that's how I would do it. So here, I get a chameleon case. I solve this one, and then insert it like that. Okay. And I'm going a little fast because you should know these algorithms or roughly how they work. Oh, this is the same thing. I didn't change the scramble. <laughs> okay. Again, so I have choices this time. I can either choose this tip which has an edge solved, this tip which has an edge solved, and this tip which has an edge solved. This one's the only one that doesn't have an edge solved. So, um, I don't know. Let's go with, uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. Why not? Um, this is actually an Oka method case. So, this is a this. If you've ever seen Otter's, Otter's, Otter's video um, about 
how he solves the pyramids, he says that he simplifies the puzzle into an easier case. This is one of those times when I would do that. This is one of my easy cases. So it's two edges that are both oriented properly and need to be switched with each other, and one flipped, one misoriented center. And what it is is you solve this, bring that here, and then insert. Okay? So what that looks like fast is that, right? So that's just a case that's good to know and it's fast to do. So in that one, I did not use my method. I just used, uh, I guess in, you could say it's intuition. I did not, oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot to um, change the scramble, but we can take this. So I did think I did this tip last time. Let's try this one. So just for the heck of it. Um, okay, I would, in, this is very similar to the, I think the first one in this video. I solved this. It might be the same thing, actually. I solved this one purposely like this so that I get a flipped edge with three centers. Yeah, I think it's exactly the same thing as the first one. So, um, change scramble. Okay. Okay. Now here, I don't see anything. Uh... Okay, so this one I noticed that if I solve this edge, it'll solve this center. And then it'll bring this edge here, which I can solve again in one move. So in two moves, I have a block, I've solved this center, and these two centers will both be pointing in this direction. So it's a two flip case, and notice how I have a flipped edge, which is very nice. That's why I decided to pick this edge actually, because of this flipped edge. Usually a flip, usually the one flip cases are the best, the one flip method where you have a flipped edge and any sort of center orientation. So. In this case, I do these two moves, solves these, solves the center, and sets it up for a nice uh, two flip case. Two flip center orientation. All right. Now, there is no solved. So this one, the first thing I noticed is that there's no solved um, edges, so nowhere really good to, good to start. But every single center is solved in relation to each other, which is very nice. So this one I noticed, the, these two here, this one can be solved in one move. This one can be solved in two moves. So a good compromise is you can solve them both at the same time in four moves. It looks like this, right? So now it's just a keyhole. You put this edge in the right place and then last three seconds, all right? Uh, let's see. So this one, um, I noticed that this edge goes here and this edge goes here. Um, I always think Oka in this case. Um, and what I want to do is, while I'm taking this out and putting it here, I want to solve whatever edge goes here, which is this one. So I go here, correctly insert. And I know that this is going to be correctly oriented and all the centers will be solved by the end. So I do one more turn and I know that this needs to go here, like that, and then last three edges. Chain scramble. Here. Again, I don't see anything good, but I notice the flipped edge here, which is pretty nice because this one, I noticed that I, if I solve this edge, it pushes this one down and then I can bring it up and notice how it'll solve this center and put this blue center here, which is a nice um, two flip center case like that, All right? Flip the edges, change scramble. Okay, here uh, immediately I see this and the centers are all solved. So, oh crap. Okay, well this isn't one of the nicer cases because I would solve this one. Hmm. Yeah, I would, I would just solve this one and solve it so that this one is inserted, flipped, and then I would flip it with one of these three edges here. Um, I would not flip it with this one because what then what happens is I end up with a U perm type of case, which is eight moves. Instead, I'm gonna flip it with this one, and now I have a three cycle that's four moves. Really nice. 
So whenever you, whenever I solve um, the top layer and uh, the third edge ends up flipped, and I can't really avoid it, I always do a eight move two flip, and I flip that edge with any edge on the last layer that makes it the easiest case possible. Sometimes there might only be one flipped edge, and that's the easiest way to go. So on this scramble, oh, uh, same scramble. Ah, I'm pretty bad at this. Change scramble, okay. Here, let's see. Okay, what I notice is this is another one of those things. It's four moves. This needs to go here, or this needs to go here, and that edge needs to go there. So it's four moves like that. Right? And before I do that, I notice I know this isn't going to change the center orientation. So these two are going to these two oranges are going to remain on the bottom. The only orange center is left is here, and the third edge is right here in the back. So after I do that. I know that as soon as I solve the center, I need to rotate this here so that this is correctly oriented. I can insert, and now I have left it with a two foot case. Uh, change scramble. Uh, okay. This is nice. I already have these two solved, and this is a um, Superman case. So I set it up into a nice flipped edge two foot case. Solve that. Last three edges. Okay, here I have choices. I can either start with this edge or I can start with this edge. I'll choose this one just because this one already has a flipped edge. Um, so I'm going to solve this like that, and then it's a flip, flipped edge, one, one flip case, like that. Okay, um, this, this is, uh, oh crap, I thought I saw something I didn't. Um, okay, it's actually easy. If I start here, I, I was going to start here first, but I didn't see anything too good, so I start here. Um, solving this edge solves the center as well, which leaves you with a flipped edge and a two flip case. Okay, last three edges. Okay. Um, Oh my god, okay, too easy. One turn, you get everything. Flip the last two edges. Um, here I see a solved one, and this edge needs to go right here. Um, okay, this is easy. As soon as I solve this edge, right, this is in the back correctly oriented. I knew that because this is properly oriented. So if you move it one turn, it's still properly oriented. And now it's a Superman case with a correctly oriented edge in the back here. So you solve this one, then this one. Right. Now here, I have two edges already solved. I'll just, yeah, I'll start with that one. And, uh, okay, this is easy. And the third edge is back here. So I'm gonna so this is a two foot case with the third edge back here. Alright. I'm gonna do the same scramble except use a different side. So I'll show you that there's different ways to approach it. So that was an easy one. Here, oh gosh, so many options. I can start here with a solved edge, or I can start here with a solved edge. I'll choose this one because it has a flipped edge. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve this third edge here, which ends up with an awkward case, which and this one I know as this one, so there's a two flip here, and I just need to solve that one in between. Okay. Now, there's nothing good to start on here. So, first we cry, and then I realize, let's see, what do I realize? Okay. I'm going to insert this edge here, and it's an insertion, so this one goes here. What happens is this edge will come out this way, um, th I'm just visualizing this, and the center orientation isn't going to change. So I'm going to have a three flip case with this edge here. If I move it this way, it's going to be flipped, so it's a, uh, it, it'll simplify into a two flip case. Uh, so I'll show you what that means. I, so I solve this edge and insert this one properly, and then I go ahead and 
solve it starting here so that I get a two foot case. Okay. Again, I don't see anything. Usually, I don't want to pick these type of centers because with two flipped um, edges. Actually, usually it's not bad. Or sometimes it's not bad. Let me think if I can. Okay, this one's actually not bad. If I decide to solve this one first, you know how to flip an edge in place, right? You can do. You can, and you have so many choices. In this one, I would solve it here and then here, which I know will leave me a two flip case here, right? And then that's easy. Let me see. What else could I do? Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys, uh, my SD card ran out of space, so that last one cut off a little short. Try to figure out what I said, that'll be your exercise. <laughs> um, let's just get a, I think that's a scramble we haven't seen before. Uh, I, after the camera ran out, I kind of talked to myself for another four or five solves, so kind of embarrassing, but oh well, it's okay. Um, for this one, it is a three move. If I solve this edge, this edge gets in place to solve. And when you do that, this is the only center that changes, so we get a two flip case with this edge already oriented right here. So we do that by solving this one and then doing that. Okay? Uh, I see a solved edge here, and let's see, I'm trying to figure out a good way to do this. Okay, well, if we, if we go ahead and directly solve this edge with two moves, it's going to solve this one and we get a chameleon case with this third edge misoriented, which is a good thing for this case. So I just solve this one, and then this one, and it solves this edge. Here, let's see. Okay, this is nice. I'm gonna go solve this one. It gives me an awkward case. This edge ends up here, misoriented, so I can simplify it into a two foot case. So I do that. Well, what I would do is this, and then this is the case, right? It's a awkward case with this edge here. So one move here turns it into a two foot case. Um, the way I would execute it is actually just do these two in, cons in um, succession. So it's almost as if I never got an awkward case. It's just two moves into a, a nice two foot case here. Okay. Uh, okay. Here, there's no edges solved. So what do I do? Um, Okay. It's again the same three move type thing where I solve this edge and then this edge ends up here so I bring it back up. It'll solve this center and the last edge is left here. So it's in the middle of these of the Superman case so I can f f set it up into a uh, two foot case like that. Change it so it's a flipped edge with two centers like that. Fix the last three edges. Uh, okay, and I'm going to try to do better on time so I don't run out of time and cut off in the middle. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so this is one of those cases where this edge goes here and this edge goes here. So I can pick which order to solve them. Either way, I'm going to get an awkward case. So, um, notice how if I do it this first and then that, I get this awkward case where this edge here is oriented. I didn't even test the other case because I know this is one of the better cases. So, like that. And then solve the last uh, two flip. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Here, what I would do is a. Uh, it's one of these things where this goes here and that goes there. So it's four moves, preserves center orientation. So that's nice. This this edge is gonna remain here and it's misoriented with relation to this center. So it is a two foot case 
where this edge is here, um, misoriented. So what I do is I change it here. So now it's a chameleon case misoriented, which is actually nice, right? Okay. My initial instinct, as soon as I saw these two, was to do this, the four move, what, what I just did, the four move, um, solving this and solving this. But I noticed that I get um, two centers here, which is kind of ugly. So what would I do? Oh, this is actually easy. It, notice how this is oriented this way, but not oriented this way. If I solve this edge going this way, it it just keeps this as a two flip case, just going the other direction. And it also makes this edge flip because it wasn't oriented going that way. So that's a nice case like that. Okay. Now this one. I see a solved edge, and this edge is like an Oka type case. Uh, I'm not going to solve it as such, I don't think. Mm. Okay. Wait, no, that's not a good way to solve it. Um, well, what I what I just thought of was, I mean, you can just solve it straight up like this. And you end up getting this two foot case, which isn't too bad. You just have to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, when you solve this straight up, you get this case. This edge isn't up here. What you do is you solve this one, and then you have a one foot case with a foot edge. So that's how that one works. I'm sure there was a better solution, but. Uh, Given 15 seconds, I don't know if I would have found anything better. That's the thing with pyraminx. If you can, the more, the faster you can do it, the more different approaches you can test in your head before you pick one to go with. Um, I could work on that, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I thought I saw something good, but what's gonna happen is this edge will end up flipped. I'm gonna solve this this edge with two moves like that and this edge is going to end up in the front so when you before you do that i know that this edge is this center is going to be remain remaining facing down this center is just going to end up here what happens is i get this case with this one foot case where this edge is flipped so i'll just go ahead and do that and i'll choose to flip it with this one because it's one of the ones that are correctly oriented so i'm going to end up with a nicer last layer case and then it's just a three cycle from there. Okay, here I don't see much. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna insert this edge here and this edge goes right there. So it's gonna preserve the center orientation, which is a two flip. And I notice that this edge isn't gonna move either. And it's in the back of this two flip, correctly oriented. So I do that. And then I solve this center and then this center, because it's gonna solve that edge at the same time. All right. Okay, let's see, five more minutes or so. Uh, solve the edge, this edge needs to go straight there. Um, and that's on the other edge. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep this edge in place. So originally I thought about doing this, which would give me a two foot case. But instead of inserting this, instead of bringing this up and then back, I'm gonna bring it down and then back. So it goes straight into this case and this empty slot is already in place where it needs to be for this case, right? So I'll solve this one and this one and that. And luckily I get a last three edges skip. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start here because this edge is already solved. Um, Okay, nice case. Um, as soon as I solve this edge, it's a one-foot case with the edge already in the right place. So I put this here and go like that, right? That one, for me, took some time to recognize whether it's in the right place or not, but over after you practice enough, you'll start to get the hang of it. Oh man, 0.57. All right, uh, that is my worst time by far. Okay, um, 
to do. Okay, I'm gonna. So notice how if I try to solve this one in two moves like that, this edge is gonna end up flipped. So what I do instead for this case is I always put this here, and then it's a, the four move type thing. This ed, this edge is gonna be affected. The centers aren't gonna be affected, so it's very easy to predict what the case is. I can just look at it and tell what the case is. Um, it's a awkward case with a flipped edge here. So I do that, and then this is the two flip that'll solve this edge. So I go in the other direction, and it'll solve that edge. Okay. Uh, okay. What is this? What is this? Uh, okay. Oh, crap. It's exactly what I showed you guys just now. Okay. That's a change of scramble. Uh, okay. I'm so bad with that. I don't know why. It's because I normally use Prisma timers, so I don't have to keep changing the scrambles. Okay. I'm going to solve this edge, which moves this edge into the front. One move, it'll solve the center, and it'll be a one foot case with all the, all the edges already solved, like that. Okay. Solve the last edges. Okay, I only got a few minutes left. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't see any good starts, so I'm I'm just gonna default to the one with the flipped edge. I notice that this one is misoriented this way, and this one's misoriented this way. So if I just turn the tip one way this way, now it's correctly oriented, correctly oriented, and it'll solve this center, and this center will be one off, which I'll use to solve this flipped edge. I almost cycled the wrong way. Okay. Um, Alright. Um, I see a solution. I'm going to try to look for another one because I saw that really fast and there might be a better one. Ah, what the hell. I'm going to solve this edge. Okay. And it ends up a three foot case with a salt ed with an oriented edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Solve this, and then solve that. And then this is a three flip case, right? So I want to solve the one that's, and this is correctly oriented here. So I want to solve the one that's opposite first, and then it's a two flip case with this um, oriented edge. Okay. insert this edge into here and solve it in the process and what's going to happen is this edge is going to stay the same all the centers are going to the orientation of the centers isn't going to change and crap okay for some reason I thought this center was here but it's not but it's still okay I'm going to insert like that and then this ed the third edge is in the middle of a superman case so I set it up into a two foot case solve it last three edges Alright, I'll do two or three more. Let's see. Hopefully my camera doesn't run out of space like last time. Um, easy. If I solve this edge, I end up with a chameleon case with and this edge. Since you know it can be solved in two moves, you know that if you only do one move, it's still misoriented with regard to this axis. So after I do this one move, I get a chameleon misoriented edge here. Boom. Last three edges skip. Okay, solved edge here. Um, what to do? Okay, well, okay, this is nice. If I just solve this edge with two moves, I end up solving this center, and this ends up being a one, one foot case with the edge in the back here, which I can do quickly. The last three edges skip, that's great. And I'll just do one more, you know, just in case my battery, or not battery, the SD card runs out of space. This one I would insert. Um, I would solve this with an insertion, and I, because I know that this one's going to end up flipped, and it's an awkward case with a flipped edge. So as soon as I do that, the flipped edge is going to end up here, right, like that. So I'm going to move it one more so that it's in position to do that. Oh, another last three edges skip. Wow, getting lucky. I'll do one more quick one. 
um, hopefully a little fast because I don't know how much more space I have. God, it's the same case. Uh, okay. All right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Okay, I was going to do a different, I don't want to do a different one. Uh, okay, this is easy. I solved this edge and I get a two foot case with this edge in the back oriented. So my first two turns is immediately that because I know that the very next turn is that. And then I just, it's a one foot, one in, one foot case solving this edge. So yeah, that's it. Um, I know I went pretty fast, just hopefully so I could get more solves in. So, um, you know, if you have any questions or if you want to see another one of these, just let me know. Cool. Good luck.